Welcome, kindred. And thank you for respecting our traditions by announcing your presence in our domain. I am Ming Zhao, High Priestess to the people of Chinatown. Can I get you anything? Tea, perhaps? I'm sorry? I'm not sure I heard you correctly. Oh, what wretched strain of Cain's curse is this? Indeed it does, kindred. But let us speak of other things. How might I assist you? We are called the Kuei Jin, though you may know us as Eastern Vampires. It is a grave misnomer, I can assure you. In a sense, yes. You may think of me as the Baron of Chinatown, to borrow from your course, Canite language. <laughs> no, we are not simply some exotic Canite bloodline. <laughs> we are supernatural. That does not mean we are like yourself. We are beings returned through the second breath for a purpose. We share superficial similarities. Quajian feed on essences that can be found in blood, yes. But as we refine our existence, rarely are we lowered to consume the bodily fluids of others. Most of us are also banished from the realm of the sun. Although we suffer rot instead of burning, the day's light is no more kind to our existence. The second breath our rebirth into the supernatural form. It is a spiritual awakening, not some lowly blood ritual meant to spread a despicable curse. No, we do not choose, but events of our lives can awaken dark spiritual energies. We are not born of the whims of another as the kindred are. The reasons are as numerous as the Quajin themselves. Each is reborn with a purpose that they must find. Once their path is evident, they must seek to fulfill it, even if it takes eternity. On the contrary, it is another chance for us to find our place in the universe. A chance for transcendence. We are not damned, not burdened with an ancient guilt, as in the legend of your biblical progenitor. Of course. The entire city is alight with news of its arrival and speculation about one of your ancient vampire grandfathers and his evil apocalyptic plot. Kuei Jin do not share your history, nor do we share in your false prophecies. It all serves to distract the kindred. Such a distasteful existence you live, skulking in the shadows, fighting for scraps and fearing the return of your fictitious fathers, completely oblivious to your true purpose. No, I do not. But with my help, you might find the path you were meant for. Instead, you stumble through the afterlife, a meaty remnant still clinging to the mortal rib. We seek it, of course. I have two of my best agents looking. It could be a powerful bargaining tool. Let me just say that I do not encourage you to seek the Ankaran sarcophagus. What can I help you with? So, the great Nosferatu have lost an agent, have they? It was not by my hand, if that's what they think. I don't know where he is. Perhaps you should speak with Wong Ho about this. Wong Ho owns the Red Dragon restaurant. He is a prominent businessman who has garnered much respect among his people. If something is amiss in Chinatown, he may know how to help you. I grant you permission to operate in the Kuei Jin domain. For now. 
may you find your path, kindred.